these are exciting times for uh, for P and H because uh, uh, well, uh, um, I was uh, growing up in uh, in the. Um, uh, in the era when we had the first anti-complement agent becoming available, that was eventually changing the natural history of the disease, leading to improved survival, possibly almost normal uh, survival. Uh, but this was not the end of the story because we realized that most of the patients remain with uh, uh, clinically meaningful anemia and there was a room for improvement. And in the past 10 years, um, I was able to develop many different agents in collaboration with different companies and most of these patients now uh, are, have received uh, marketing authorization or EMA approval and they are ready to be available in our European countries and we are all excited about that. Uh, the, the two studies that we have presented here at this meeting concern um, uh, the, a drug which is called Iptacopan. This is uh, an inhibitor uh, of the complement factor B. Uh, it is given orally twice a day, so very convenient for uh, for patient. And uh, the, the the data from the apply study have been published in the New England Journal um, a few days ago. We are just uh, you know replying to some some comment, which is very important because that means that we have a huge discussion in the field about pros and cons of this treatment as well as potential pitfalls. Uh, at the same time, there was. Uh, a single arm study that is the appoint study presented here at this meeting uh, looking for patients with no previous anti-complement treatment 40 patients were enrolled in the study uh, the the response rate uh, was uh, uh, was amazing I mean basically no patient received transfusions uh, almost all, all of them we are in the in the range of 90 percent um, achieved uh, at least uh, two gram in gain in hemoglobin level and about 65% were achieving hemoglobin level higher than 12, which is more or less what we may expect as normal hemoglobin in, uh, in, uh, in, in humans. Uh, so that was terrific because this is for the first time um, that the uh, observation that we can offer uh, well normal blood almost normal blood counts and hopefully normal quality of life to this patient. At this meeting we presented data at 48 weeks. Actually, last year I was so lucky to present in the oral session the initial data at 24 weeks. So it's very important that we confirm uh, the same data at 48 weeks, uh, same response rate, response uh, is very good and sustained over time. And even more important at this meeting in one of the abstracts, we report on the issue of the so-called breakthrough hemolysis, which is a condition basically when you have hemolysis coming back for different reasons. Uh, this is a very transient condition, but of course this could be dangerous and potentially life-threatening for patients for a biological reason that I'm very happy to, to, to share with you because, uh, well, at this meeting, in most cases, we are dealing with, with leukemia. And the goal of treatment is just to kill leukemic cells. With PNH, basically, it's just the opposite. The better treatment, the better protection of mutated cells, affected cells, so basically, at the end of the day, if the treatment is very good, patient may live with 90%, 95%, even 99% proportion of PNH erythrocytes. And these erythrocytes are susceptible to complement-mediated lysis. So they may be disrupt, destroyed in a few hours in some specific condition, which means whether you have, you, if you lose the anti-complement protection. And this may happen if your drug level is too low or if you have some extra complement activation that may overcome the drug. Uh, that, this was described with different treatment. Now with Iptacopan, we were quite surprised that despite of this very high proportion of PNH erythrocytes, the rate of breakthrough events remain very low. We have about 10 events uh, collectively uh, taking the two trials with uh, 48 weeks observation time. And more important, the severity of these events was very mild. 
that means that the fear about breakthrough, severe breakthrough hemolysis is still there, of course, but uh, current data are more or less reassuring us that this is a good treatment for patient and pros and cons basically are in the direction of the pros and uh, we keep our eyes uh, open but we are very optimistic that for the near future this treatment may really um, impact positively not only blood counts but also quality of life of PNH patients.